What we did is we moulaged volunteers. There were marks and bruises that we made, that the moulage team actually made on their faces and necks uh, to look like they had been victims of some sort of maltreatment. My biggest hope was to raise awareness that it could happen to anybody. When I first got here, I went and I sat by my locker to try and act kind of sad and distraught about something. And they all thought I just got in a fight with my friend. And uh, so none of them really said anything to me at the beginning. But uh, so I would start asking people questions directly to see if they'd say anything, notice. And uh, I guess they had expressed concern for me to each other, but nobody actually approached me about it until later on in the day. She walked straight to her locker, she came out at her locker for about 10 minutes, so it was kind of noticeable at least something emotional was going on. It was something that actually hit pretty hard. I, I wanted, once we actually started making or taking action and doing something, I wanted to know who it was. It kind of made me furious, that, that type of thing. I don't, it doesn't belong anywhere, really. No one should have to go through something like that, so. I don't think we acted like we should have. Like, I don't think we took the action as fast as we should have. Uh, it definitely opened my eyes. The biggest lesson learned is that people do care, but they don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, you can always talk to your supervisor, the first sergeant, and call mental health or um, anyone, basically. Everybody knows what to do now. Whether or not they feel like they can approach the person, they know that they can use their first shirt, they can contact family advocacy directly, and then people who have maybe a little more experience can approach that person and do it in a sensitive way to where the issue will hopefully be resolved.